on this video I'm gonna show you how to convert a integer to a bit array and then back to an integer. I will also be talking a little bit about little endian and big endian. If you don't know what these are, stop the video right now and do a search for those to understand better. I'm going to create a console project. And now I'm going to just create a integer. Convert to bit array. So the bit array happens to be on the collections. So you need this using here. And now I'm going to print all the contents of the bit array. Are so far so good. I'm gonna run the program and I got a whole bunch of uh, true and false statements and those translates to ones and zeros. So instead of having true and false I'm going to replace those by ones and zeros. looks much better now but now I want to write those in one line only and now I have everything in one line just put a new line here so this is my binary number that is equivalent to a 5 so if you drop this number here on any binary converter you're gonna have a problem because this does not look like a 5 it looks like a number much bigger and the reason is because C sharp is little endian in other words the most significant bit is actually on the left side not on the right so the first thing I wanna do here is to separate those these bytes so I'm just going to do something now to put a space between each byte. So in other words, every eight characters, I want to put a space because each byte happens to be eight bits. So I run it. So this is one byte. 2 bytes, 3 and 4 bytes. But now we still have the problem of the little endian. And if we try to convert this number here to a decimal value, you're going to have a 160. But we started with 5. So we need to reverse the sequence in order for us to actually have a number 5. And if you reverse this, five zeros and then 101. Now convert, yes, you get five. So this is the little endian representation of the integer five. And this is obviously zero, zero, and zero. So now let's get the bytes coming from this bit array. I'm creating a byte array of 4 because I have 4 bytes in my integer. Now I'm going to get my bit array and I'm going to copy 2 bytes starting at index 0. So now I'm going to print all the contents of the bytes. The length is 4 because that's the size of bytes or I can put bytes dot length. I'm gonna put a tab here want to give some space. So instead of right line, just right. So now I have the five which is the integer representation of this binary and so on. Now don't forget again that this number is not five thousand it is only 5 and 
don't forget this little engine. So finally, if I want to convert to integer, I want the 2 int 32 because it's 32 bits. And bytes starting from index 0. So there it is. So I have I started with 5, converted to bits, convert to bytes, and then back to integer. So now let's play with this a little bit. With my starting number, it was a 5. So I'm going to put 255 now. And 255 happens to fill up all the binaries on the first byte. So if I want a 256, now we're starting tapping on the second byte, which is this one here. So if you get 1 followed by 8 zeros, happens to be 256. So 1 followed by 8 zeros. Converts, sure enough, happens to be 256. Let's try to get this, the third set of bits. So the third of set of bits is going to be 256. So now we get the third byte, and if we want to get the fourth byte, then multiply by 256 again. So each byte can only hold 256 values or numbers from 0 to 255. So what if I want to put some values on the second byte then? So this is for my third byte. So my second byte would be 256 times 256 times, let's say, 12. So the 12 would be placed on my third bytes. So let's test it. Sure enough, this is my third byte. And if I want to put some values on the second byte, that would be 256 times, let's say, 21. So 21 would be placed on the second byte. And if I want to put something on the first byte, I just put in a number, let's say, 45 and 45 in our first byte. Now let me go back to the code and show you the code one more time just in case if you get lost. Let's scroll down. And that's all. So thanks for watching this video. This is easy and you can do it.